because I'm looking at FND as a description of symptoms instead of a diagnosis. Yes. Uh, do you think that some of that problem is some of the terminology that is used or lack of awareness? What do you think contributes to that? Yeah, so it's a good question from Barbara. I think people, many people, including health professionals, actually don't understand that this is not a dustbin diagnosis that you make just because someone has a, a neurological symptom like weakness or tremor or blackouts that you don't understand or because the tests are normal. That is not how you diagnose FND. You diagnose it by uh, finding clear positive features of the condition of FND. So if seizures and they have a, events where their eyes are tightly shut and the event goes on for 10 minutes and they're breathing fast and they're unresponsive and can't remember it. That is a dissociative seizure. There's really nothing else in medicine that produces that. Or if someone has a positive Hoover sign or positive entrainment test, that's how you diagnose it. So it's not a diagnosis of exclusion. There are problems with um, the word, with the idea of symptoms and functional neurological symptoms. And I, I, this is something I struggle with because there are people out there who do have one or two symptoms and they're not really wanting to be labeled as having a disorder. Um, they don't feel that their problem is that bad but there are other people where clearly they're very disabled and what they have is not just a symptom it's a disorder so we don't i don't think we've solved the problems with terminology i think fnd is a, is a step forward in the right direction that everyone uh, is beginning to sign up to which is good um but it's certainly not just a, it's not it's not a description of symptoms and if, if anyone's out there feeling that they've been diagnosed in that sort of dustbin way and that they've just been told that this was the diagnosis because the tests were normal they need to talk to their doctors and find out why they've made this diagnosis and ask them where are my positive signs of this condition